I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. This is an unboxing of the new Survivor's Core set from Fallout Wasteland Warfare. All right, let's get this box open. And of course, Fallout Wasteland Warfare is the miniatures game based on the Fallout franchise. Primarily, it's a lot of Fallout 4 stuff, but there may be other games in there as well. I'm not entirely sure. So this set here features a lot of the main characters you would know from Sanctuary Hills, despite there's another set called the Heroes of Sanctuary Hills. Um, so of course, we got Preston Garvey, We've got Ronnie Shaw, which is actually, she's from the Fortress, Miniman Fortress area, castle thing, whatever they call it. Uh, not Sanctuary Hills, but then you've got Sturgis, as well as Mama Murphy, and then four just random settlers. Now, if you've never seen these miniatures before, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, Modfius, I believe that's how you pronounce their names, who makes this game, does an excellent job with their miniatures. And inside this box, like I said, there are going to be eight miniatures. I'll probably be assembling Preston Garvey here in a moment. He's the number one figure I want from this box. But then you've got stat cards as well as an assortment of equipment cards. And there is one new scenario available for the battle mode version of this game included in this box set. All right. Well, let me find Preston Garvey here. I've, I've, one thing I've found with these miniatures, I've had a little bit of difficulty gluing them together right out of the box. There's actually been times where I've needed to use them in a game right away. So I have a feeling there's probably some sort of release agent as part of the casting process, which is very common with resin miniatures. So I want to make sure I want to wash the miniatures off in soap and water first. So who do we got here? That's, that looks like, I think it's Ronnie Shaw. There's Mama Murphy. And here is Preston Garvey. With his, of course, his um, laser musket. Brain fail. <laughs> should know that weapon. Okay. Just going to toss him in the water over there for a little bit and kind of clean off that miniature. And while I'm waiting for that, let's take a look at some of the characters. So here are the big cards that come in the set. Of course, you got your heroes over here. And then you've also got these, I believe these are the AI cards. I haven't played the AI mode of the game yet, but there's available for the main characters in the game. And then you've got a quick reference card, and Mama Murphy's got some pretty cool special rules, it looks like, about using her ability, her foresight ability, because she's kind of a bit of a prophet when she's high in the jet in the game, um, to be able to look at certain events coming up in a battle and take advantage of what might happen in the future kind of a thing. The only figure I've used in the game so far from these characters is Preston Garvey. Because I've run the, I run the Men and Men normally when I play Fallout Waste and Warfare. He's, he's pretty good. <laughs> So he's just all around pretty good at everything, good armor, good stats. And what's kind of cool is nearby Minutemen get one additional health with him, so they can take a little bit more punishment. And this is kind of fun too. This one right here really ticks people off, the careful ability. So normally in Fallout Wasteland Warfare, when you've got a situation where... Um, you're firing into melee combat where you may have friendlies or enemies, there's a random chance that your friends could get hit or your enemies can get hit. Preston Garvey doesn't have that limitation. That really ticks off players. When he shoots in the combat, he's always going to hit the intended target, which presumably is going to be the enemy. So let me talk about Sturges in regards to Fallout 4 for a moment. Now this is a bit of a spoiler alert if you haven't played the Minuteman campaign for Fallout 4, so just, just be advised. But in the game, he's able to build a teleportation system from kind of shady plans, but he can't figure out, why don't I take good boards from one house and put them on the, another house that already has good boards and end up with one pretty good house instead of having everyone live in crap hole ruins. Just saying. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the equipment cards that come in this box set. All right, so we've got an assortment. I think there are quest cards. I'm honestly not entirely sure when regard to that aspect of the game. I only ever played the battle game, never any campaigns or stuff. We've got some new, it looks like stranger and creature cards. A hey, rad rabbit, that sounds awful. <laughs> what are all these things? Up oh, more danger cards. That shows up sometimes with certain um, little tokens you flip over when you're searching them around. You've got some perks here, a new leader card, typical heroic stat card. What are all these guys? Some exploration cards, as well as other events that can occur during the game if you're playing with the event cards. Let me see here. Boosts, and then here comes a whole bunch of equipment cards. They look to be more or less the same kind of things you find in the base game. Ooh. Artillery grenade? I wonder if this has to deal with, this might be a Ronnie Shaw thing because of, you know, she has access to the fortress. Fortress has artillery guns, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but other than that, 
these are pretty standard stuff that you find in the base game. And of course, laser muskets. Laser muskets are actually pretty good in Fallout Wasteland Warfare. They're, they're kind of terrifying weapons. And also, Preston Garvey has, I saw it in here, the long barrel mod included for free. I thought I saw it in here. There it is. So his is actually even longer range than your typical laser musket. It's, it's surprisingly a very good weapon in the game. Even though I thought in Fallout 4 the video game it kind of blew. But, eh, whatever. <laughs> whatever works, right? Okay, let's get Preston Garvey assembled here. There's a tiny piece of the sprue that's going to be left on his arm here. Not the little bump that I assume is for actually connecting the arm, but the tiny piece of sprue I got to very carefully remove. Yeah, he's like just holding his rifle in the air and the other arm just kind of sticking out, telling you which direction the ghouls are coming from or the farm that's in trouble or whatever it may be. You know how that goes. There you go, there's Preston Garvey fully assembled. It's actually a pretty simple process, only what, were there four pieces if you count the base? So very cool. So the question then comes down to is who would be interested in buying this particular set? The main feature here, of course, are the four hero characters, the Minutemen slash Sanctuary Hills characters. Because if you already have the starter set to the game, you've already got several survivors. So unless you want a couple more survivors or you really want those hero characters, this may not be the best set for you. But if you're like me, where I actually don't have the starter set to the game, my friends have it. So I just need the miniatures to play. Plus, with this particular game, ModFS has all the rules, stat cards, and all that fun stuff available for free on their website. So it's a great way to get into the game if you don't want to buy the starter set because you don't want all the extra miniatures, right? Because I just want the survivor guy. So this is actually a great way to get started with the game. Now, this isn't a starter set, like I said. It's just miniatures plus stat cards, but the rules and stuff are free. But this does come with some of the basic cards you need to play the game. Like you have a couple leader cards in here, as well as the heroic explanation card and things like that that actually come in the starter set. Of course, you don't get any of the tokens that are used for this token soup of a game. I mean, Fallout Wasteland Warfare is a fun game, but my goodness, the amount of tokens this game has is just absolutely insane. But anyway, so this set here retails for about $52 to $54 US, something like that. And it is a great deal just for the miniatures alone, but you know, it's a survivor slash Minutemen kind of a thing. So thank you guys all for watching this unboxing video, the new Survivor's Core set for Wasteland Fallout for Fallout Wasteland Warfare. Got the words mixed up there. Once again, I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. Go ahead and subscribe here to get other videos related to tabletop gaming, robotics, electronics, and who knows whatever random things are going to be up to. I put the Nerf gun over there. But anyway, in the meantime, got a nearby farms under attack by ghouls, and we got to go ahead and take care of that. So thank you guys all for watching.